all stems from you know when I was younger. I've already grown up with trains, I guess you could say. You know, if I take a day off work, I probably sometimes find myself at the railway. It's just just feels really amazing to be around them. There are a lot of racing games out there, but ultimately you can go out and hire a, a racing car, you can get track days. But you can't do this with, with railways. Just being involved around all of that history and nostalgia, I guess. So many people have been involved with this over its lifetime. It's almost an honour to be a part of that. Going to visit the actual locomotives allows the team to really connect in a very physical way with what they're trying to recreate. Well, this is how this train feels. When, it, when I'm standing next to this train on a station, this is what it feels to me to be like that. And how can I recapture that in the game? Um, I'm really looking for the detail and the openness of this bridge just allows me to, to get those kinds of things. I feel like there's a purpose in what I'm doing, but at the same time I can enjoy it. You know, not everyone is going to have, you know, as much kind of hands-on contact with, you know, steam locos as I do. You know, I can help reflect some of that into the game. You kind of, you just walk into the office knowing, you know, this is what I enjoy outside of work. So you can bring that enjoyment into the office. When we create these um, these vehicles, that the uh, when the players come to use them, they're in effectively direct contact with the real thing. We've operated the controls and levers and tried to recreate how they feel in the game. You have to love what you do and your passion has to go into the software. I'm very, very excited that we get to bring this kind of stuff to the public, that I get to be involved in the development of it and go behind the scenes with this stuff. Um, I wouldn't give it up for the world.